Hello everyone, this is Killenberg. Today I'm going to be talking about why I can't stand the live-action Resident Evil movies. Now for those that don't know, I'm a fan of the games. And for those who aren't familiar with the games, the first game came out in 1996, and in America it was titled Resident Evil like the movies. However, in Japan it's actually called Biohazard, and the franchise is actually still called Biohazard over there. I mention that because some people don't actually know about the games. Now this is all my opinion. You can disagree. You might even have different reasons why you can't stand them. But this is all me. This is all my opinions. So you can agree, you can disagree, it doesn't matter to me. But anyway, let's get started. Alice. For those that don't know, Alice is not even in the games. Now, I'm nothing against Milia Jovovich as a person, but I can't stand this character. For one, the first movie is basically an unofficial remake of Alice in Wonderland. Yeah, her name is even Alice. And many people might not know this, but that queen in Alice in Wonderland that says off with her head, guess where her name is? That's right, the Red Queen. Guess what else is called the Red Queen? The AI in the first movie. Now, I actually like how the games did it better, where there are regular people overcoming the odds. And I know in the later ones, there are people who have, like, powers and stuff. But yeah, I think she's... And I know a lot of people have said this already, but... She's too much of a Mary Sue for me. They're loosely based on the games. Alright, for those that don't know, these are loosely based on the games. To me, they feel like a different franchise entirely. The games are horror, while these are more action-based. But they barely follow the games at all. The only real similarities is the names. The characters of the games are basically useless. Yeah, the characters from the games are actually in these movies, but they're basically just side characters. There's even a part where Jill hides from Nemesis. Yeah, you heard that right. Jill hides from Nemesis. I mean, come on. They started referencing them in the games. Now, this one's a little complicated, but if you notice, they started referencing them in the games. Like, the games started going more action. There's actually quite a few references, but I'm going to mention the most obvious. The Laser Room is in Resident Evil 4. They almost had George A. Romero as the director and writer. He actually wrote a script, and they turned it down. For people who don't know who George A. Romero is, he directed the original Night of the Living Dead. Yes, let that sink in. The director of the original Night of the Living Dead almost wrote and directed Resident Evil. They turned his script down. And his script is findable online. I'm going to post a link to that in the description. But yeah, I can't believe they even made that decision. And his script actually had Chris and Jill as the main characters. Now see, if Resident Evil actually followed the games, it would be a great horror franchise. But they didn't. And honestly, they're not well written. And I know someone's going to say, well, the games really weren't either. It really depends on what you mean. I mean, I will admit, the first game had bad voice acting, but to me it still had a decent storyline. Now, there is a new movie series coming. Or at least it's supposed to be coming. I hope this new one actually does the franchise justice. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed my video of why I can't stand the Resident Evil movies. I'll see you guys again soon.